Put on those masks and gloves, kids. It's time for another episode of Trippy Food. And today we're going to do another installment of Dinner and a Movie. Well, Dinner and a TV Show. So you remember last time we had done a milk steak, which is one of Charlie's favorite dinners, and uh, from um, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And so I was on a live stream that uh, Reckless Eating was doing, and one of their subscribers, Evie Black, had suggested that since we did that one, why don't we do a grilled Charlie? So I agreed to it. Uh, Matt didn't know about it, but I told him afterwards and I said, hey, uh, we've got a challenge here. So somebody wants to see us do a grilled Charlie, but unfortunately because of the shelter in place, well, we can't do that. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a grilled Charlie and I will challenge you, Matt, and Reckless Eating, to do your own grilled Charlie, and we'll just kind of compare notes. And then uh, if you want to get somebody else besides you to do it, then that would be great. We'll add on as many people as we can, and we'll all do a grilled Charlie and, and try it out. And it'll kind of be like we're eating it at the same time. So for those who don't know, uh, Charlie's the one that comes up with all these bizarre foods. And a grilled Charlie is uh, two slices of cheese, American cheese, put on the grill, with a buttered slice of white bread put on top of that cheese with the butter side up. And then while it's cooking, uh, adding chocolate sauce to the top and then taking another slice of bread, buttering that and putting that butter side down onto the sandwich and then flipping it over and letting it toast on the grill. And then when it comes off the grill, still cheese side down putting peanut butter on top of it. Now, I considered, because of what this thing is made out of, I considered actually putting, you know, bacon or something like that on that. But then I remembered that Frank wanted to put rum ham on it, and when he put rum ham on it, he ended up sitting, sticking his butt out the window because everyone else in the room couldn't deal with him. So um, I thought maybe maybe best not. But, uh, but I'm thinking, just looking at it, I'm thinking bacon might do well in there. Well, we'll see. So. Here, here is our grilled Charlie, and uh, it does make very, very nice layers. It almost looks like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich if you didn't notice that little yellow cheese on the bottom and the peanut butter on the top on the outside. So uh, leave it to them to come up with something that's gonna be difficult to eat. Uh, you got all your gooey stuff on, no, you got gooey stuff on the inside and gooey stuff on the outside. So we, again, we have cheese on the outside, peanut butter on the outside, uh, butter and chocolate sauce on the inside, Let's go ahead and get this a shot. Oh my God. That's really good. I have no idea why that's good, but it is. I'm thinking when they came up with this, that well, who's gonna do this, right? But yeah, this that's a decent sandwich. I mean, you would think that cheese and chocolate, they go together and the, the peanut butter, that's, it, it, everything works together. That's a really nice sandwich. Yeah. I mean, the messiness of having the peanut butter on the outside and everything is a little crazy, but, but all those flavors, they mix really well. <laughs> that's really good. I don't know why that's really good. That's really good. I'm gonna give that one a big thumbs up. So thumbs up to you, Charlie, for coming up with this. That's a really good sandwich. And again, I think if you put bacon in here, maybe bacon crumbles in there on the inside. That might be nice. That might be a nice touch. But yeah, that's a nice sandwich and I'm gonna go ahead and give that a big thumbs up. So I'm gonna swing this over to you, Matt. It's your turn. Go ahead and make one of these. Let us know how yours come out. Um, E.D. Black, I hope we did you proud making the sandwich, and um, and I hope you're happy that we uh, we had followed your request and made this sandwich. So, again, relatively easy. You want to try this at home? Uh, give this one a shot. I recommend it. Really good. Wash your hands. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself, and we'll see you soon. 
Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.